Hi, my name is Brian Nielsen. I'm a program manager in the Business Central team. And in this session, I will present you the new and improved features we have in financial analytics. The first thing, and there's a separate video for, for how to install it and start using it. There are 14 new Power BI reports for the finance area through Power BI embedded reports. There are 17 new templates, five rows, 12 columns in the financial reporting module. Um, we have Excel reports and we have ad hoc analysis for fixed assets specifically. And we have a lot of new uh, learning resources, stocks content for the financial reporting area and for analytics in general. And then hopefully soon in the second minor, uh, in this release, we will have new demo data to better demonstrate some of these new reporting capabilities. But let's take a closer look. The first uh, thing for analytics is reporting and reporting through Power BI. We have created six new apps, uh, one of them for finance. It contains 14 reports, which means pages in Power BI. Uh, they contain Overview uh, pages or overview reports, sort of a dashboard that you see here. KPI pages with uh, a bit more detail. And then it also includes the ledger entries so that you, from one of the, the top reports, can drill through to the ledger entries and do validation or, or further investigation. We also have templates for financial reporting, uh, five row definition, which is basically the reports like balance sheet and income statement, and we have a trial balance with just a uh, posting uh, GL accounts. And then we have 12 uh, predefined column definitions that will allow you to mix and match and create some new reports. We'll take a closer look. And for this, we have uh, new docs content that will take you through not just the new stuff, but in general, how to use the financial reporting module to create financial reports. And it will also guide you through on how do you start from your company, creating some balance sheet, income statement, cash flow, and some of the other reports, including some tips and tricks on how to do it best and most easily uh, so that you can maintain it. But let's, let's take a closer look in the product. So I'm logged into my Business Central uh, company. The Power BI report are found in the Business Manager role center in a separate uh, embedded action here, where all of them are, are shown. You can also search for them in the Role Explorer. Uh, but let's just take a look at the, the different reports. There's a, the first one is a financial overview that gives you a at a glance overview of, of your data, like revenue, uh, profit margin, assets, uh, vendors and whatnot. And there is a filter section. So instead of getting it all, at least for the revenue part, you're just looking at one fiscal year at a time. For example, we can hide that again. There's also a um, more interesting uh, balance sheet. And we can expand this one. So you can see it, there's a lot of data. If I click on any of these values, I can drill through to the uh, balance sheet drill through table, which is a separate report in here. And I can, I can start looking at the individual numbers. So I don't have to just look at some overview data and then go to BC to, to do verification or further analysis. I have it uh, all in this uh, set of reports. There are also some reports that contain some uh, KPIs. There's one for the, the asset KPIs with a chart. This is demo data, so not much has happened here. But you get the, the idea that with your own data, you not only get the ratio or the KPI, but you also get the different uh, component it is made up of. And lastly, uh, if you want to go directly uh, you can go to general ledger entries, uh, to customer ledger entries, and so forth. So a lot of uh, new report, a lot of new data um, that you can start digging into through uh, embedded Power BI. We also have um, in the financial reporting module, 
we have some new row definition. Um, and they will all, no matter localization, have this uh, code. Balance sheet uh, detailed, balance sheet summarized, and the same for income statement, and probably at the bottom in most localization, a trial balance with just a posting DL account. If we look at, uh, let's first take the detailed one. We can look up the report, of course. You will see that it has a new row definition. It also has a, a defined column definition, but if you look into it, you can see that there's this one, which is showing all 12 um, months in your, uh, or periods in your fiscal year. And then there are uh, further ones where you uh, compare to previous year's balances, uh, you include a budget, um, you compare year to date or prior year, year to date or same period last year. There's, there's these different uh, 12 different um, column definition that you can combine with your report. You can either just combine it on the go uh, and then watch your data. Uh, or you can combine it and create a new report and, uh, and have it um, as defaulted uh, in your system. You can also use the row and column definition to create your own, to modify them, to add more KPIs or calculated columns. Um, but there's a set of a new set of uh, templates to start with. Last release, we started providing Excel reports. We provided nine reports for the finance, receivables and payables area. And we're continuing this work, uh, covering more of the existing RDLC reports. In this release, you have three new reports for fixed assets and one new report for consolidation. For fixed assets, because it's a separate little module, we thought that would be a good starting point to, um, to do analysis based on a query for the tables related to fixed assets. It's the fixed assets ledger entries, that is the fact table in here with all the related table. And that will enable you to, to start analyzing fixed assets data, either to complement some of the reports or do uh, quick uh, fact finding or troubleshooting um, when you need it. For all of this in the analytics mod module, there is a new financial analytics section in, in the uh, docs content. It is uh, specifically about the reports that we have. It's about the new financial reporting templates and how to go about creating new reports in financial reporting. And it's about uh, the new Power BI reports. They will have a separate section for each of these uh, reports. So there's plenty of new content that you can dig into to learn about these features. But let's take a look in the product. For Excel reports in fixed assets, there are three reports. The analysis report that also cover the book value report. The projected value, which is sort of a um, projection of the coming depreciations. You, it's a different uh, data set that you need to run. And then there are details uh, for the fixed assets. It was one of the uh, most used uh, reports. Let's look at one of the reports. We'll take the analysis report and download it um, to Excel. In the Excel report, you will first, as usual, get uh, something that looks like a report. You can either print it out, you can modify it a bit to suit your taste. Uh, you have the book value, which was a separate report uh, in RDLC, and then you have your data, so you can start creating your own reports if you don't like any of these two. Um, and the same with the, the other two reports. It's a, it's a way of getting your data and start creating um, reports or doing analysis. Now that we are in fixed assets, we also uh, created um, a query, and it's called Analyze Fixed Assets, or let me just show you. If you search for it, it's called a hoc analysis. Fix assets ad hoc analysis. It will open a, an analysis view uh, based on a query. You can see what is included in here. There's a lot of data, uh, dimensions, and um, different dates, classes. A lot of the tables from fixed assets are, are now combined. And and you can start doing, you can either create your own report or, or start with um, Copilot to assist you to create reports 
For example, this one would be an easy one to um, start troubleshooting if you're looking for depreciations that didn't happen or if you're looking for the acquisition value. And you can, of course, include more. But it's a good complement to the existing reports because it's much faster to do it on screen rather than running a report. In docs, there are, there's more uh, content on financial reporting or doing analytics. In the finance area, there's the overview of financial reports. So you can see what are the reports about and there will be more content provided. Uh, if you scroll to the topic after um, finance, there's financial analytics, which will tell you about how you go about uh, doing analytics and the different ways of running a report or doing analytics in, in BC and what tools you have available, ideas for what is it that you will be looking at. Uh, and we also have um, a section on the financial reporting module, uh, how to set it up and what it is that you need to, to make it work for you. Like there's some mapping to be done. And as you can see, there is, for example, this one, and there'll be more uh, chapters. There'll be a walkthrough on how do you start creating your own report and how do you build the, the different uh, row and column definitions um, so you can get started. Here's a sort of a recipe for how to do it. So you, you, you're not stuck with a, with a blank sheet when you start creating financial reports. And lastly, with all these new capabilities, it is, of course, uh, extra uh, great if you can demo it in a nice way with some data in it. Uh, the standard demo data in Business Central is mainly focused on showcasing the different features. So it has a limited set of entries because then you don't get confused about all the data, but can focus on what does the feature do. But for the second minor in this release, we're going to provide three new demo data sets. One for financial reporting. It will have three years of data. It will have a budget. Uh, it will have a breakdown uh, in dimensions and both uh, balance sheet and income statement uh, are filled out so that you can run both Excel reports and you can run uh, Power BI reports, the embedded reports, uh, with, with a set of data that makes sense, that shows some trends, some outliers, but looks like uh, real data rather than just uh, partially three months of data. Same for fixed assets. It's mainly the 10 assets we have, but it will have uh, depreciation entries, acquisition entries, of course, and maintenance, insurance entries, just so you can get an idea of what is it that you can uh, do in, in reporting. And for example, use the new analysis view on it. There will be reporting data, uh, reporting demo data for projects. It's not showcasing how to use projects, but more uh, if you're using some of the uh, embedded Power BI reports for projects, you will have data in it that covers uh, an extensive period of time and there will be some profitability analysis on some assets that you can do, just so that you have data and can demonstrate uh, some of these embedded Power BI reports. And as we go, we will add uh, more demo data to showcase reporting because you really need a lot of data to really demonstrate the strength of Power BI reporting and also Excel reporting. With that, I hope you uh, dig into some of the new features that we have provided for financial analytics. Thank you for watching.